ちでいいんですかこれカットシートねあの英語版なんでキーファーさんとかそういうトロイさんとか、ね、声は、はい、あのリアルタイムなんでね、はい、これ聞こえてるんですか、ねはい、これは聞こえてるか、はい、こうですねオセロットの凄さが分かるしこの砂嵐目開けてるんですさすがはやめねえかお前やまねえかこれはね誰も分かってくれないですよ<笑>すごいやいや、素晴らしいわ。ちょっとギャグはやめとき。<笑>はい、今ここで、はい、ちょっと、えー、ちょっと、えー、ちょっと見ていただきましょうか。はい、ちょっと見ていただきましょう。そして、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここ At a vantage point off site. And then we'll go ahead and head on in. And yes, this is very popular at E3. Your horse will do that. So let's go ahead and move on. So, as everybody knows,、uh, Phantom Pain is an open world game. It's roughly 200 times the size of Ground Zeroes. And we're just going to show you a small glimpse of that today so you can have a taste of what the gameplay is going to be like.、Uh, it's a wide open landscape, a lot of places to explore, a lot of things to do. Uh, as you see up ahead, it's also populated by various types of wildlife. We have a herd of sheep up here on the road. 
And off to the right, we also have a human settlement as well. All right, now you notice the background music has changed. It's gotten a little tense. That means there are enemies nearby. So let's go ahead and scout out the area. And sure enough, there's some enemies here. So we'll go ahead and mark them. And proceed forward. That said, if you're on a horse like this, you'll probably be spotted. So let's go ahead and use one of Snake's new abilities. You can actually hang off the side of your horse here and lower your profile. So we can get up close and make the shot. I just killed one guy, but his buddy did notice, so we'll use that to our advantage. See if we can sneak up behind him here. And hopefully pull him up. Hands up. Well done. So now we have him held up. We can get some intel out of him. Let's go ahead and interrogate him. Spit it out. And he's telling us where we can find a container with raw materials. So we'll check that out in a minute. But first, let's get these guys out of the way. Uh, what you see on the screen right now is the Fulton Recovery System. Players who play Peace Walker are of course familiar with this. Uh, these guys will be sent back to Mother Base via balloon and we'll join your army. And now we see here we also have a curious visitor. So maybe he wants to go back to Mother Base too. Let's go ahead and see if we can help him out with that. And he's down. So we'll go ahead and attach the Fulton. And away he goes. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and look at the, uh, <laughs> look at our map here. Uh, you can see the container that the guy was talking about, so we'll go ahead and check that out. It's not too far off course. Uh, keep in mind, the guys we pulled in earlier will be going back to Mother Base, and you can assign them to various units within Mother Base to do tasks for you. And as for the sheep, well, I'm sure we can find some use for them. All right, so here's the container, and we see it is guarded, so we'll be careful as we make our approach here. Note that we did mark the enemy, so we can see him through obstacles, such as this wall. That said, it doesn't look like he's planning on moving, so let's go ahead and lure him out. The knock is back in Phantom Pain, uh, but this time you can now perform it using your prosthetic arm, which means you can do this anywhere. You do not need to be next to a wall. That said, if you are next to a wall, you can do some pretty cool CQC, such as this upgraded move here. And peeking out from behind cover, shooting enemies is also faster and easier than it was in Ground Zeroes. So all this stuff has been, has been streamlined for time and pain. Alright, so we're going to these guys out of the way, and now let's see if we can grab this container. So I jump off here. Uh, you do have to be careful when you're fulfilling large objects like this, because if you're actually on the object when it goes up, you'll be brought back to Mother Base along with it and uh, you'll actually abort the mission. Now, that is an advanced technique that some people may want to use from time to time, but obviously for today's demonstration, we don't want to abort the mission, so we'll just keep on moving. Uh, you may have also noticed that there's a weather report that came in on our iDroid saying there's a sandstorm approaching. So if you look at the sky, you can see it's gotten a little gray, and uh, we should see some sta sand start kicking up here soon. There we go. So, here we have this sandstorm. Sandstorm is just one example of the dynamic weather in the Phantom Pain. Uh, the weather will change and evolve throughout the day uh, and is unpredictable. During a sandstorm, visibility is low, which means enemies can't see you, but you also have a hard time seeing where you're going, so you have to be careful as you traverse the terrain. So there are guys in hiding like this, so we'll go ahead and take them out. Now, we could Fulton this guy if we wanted to, but we won't because it is in the middle of a sandstorm and the Fulton is influenced by weather, uh, so it's very possible that he'd be blown off course and the guy could die, so we don't want to do that. Uh, that said, uh, visibility is low, but we've marked our destination earlier, so we can just, just keep on following the marker on screen here and make our way towards our destination. And the iDroid is now telling us that the weather's going to clear soon and the soldiers we pulled in earlier have made it back to Mother Base safely. But before we move on, you'll notice that there's something sparkling underneath this tree. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so these are raw diamonds. Now, raw diamonds are just one example of the various raw materials you can gather from around the map. And these get sent back to Mother Base and add to your GMP. GMP being the currency in Phantom Pain that you can use to upgrade your base, as well as develop new items and equipment. All right, so we've made it to our vantage point now. You have arrived at your destination. And you see off in the distance, we have the yellow marker that indicates our target. So somewhere in there, we should be able to find some information regarding those whereabouts. 
So let's uh, go ahead and use our binoculars to scope the area out. See our target here. And there's some enemies, so we'll go ahead and mark them. Uh, as players who have played Ground Zeroes know, it's always good to mark enemies before you head into enemy territory. It'll give you an advantage as you sneak around the base. One more here. And so now we've gone ahead and marked all the enemies that we can see. That said, we don't know if there may be more lurking behind corners or inside of buildings. Uh, so in this kind of situation, you can actually call upon Mother Base for help, uh, call upon our intel unit. So we'll go ahead and open up our iDroid here. And what you see in the background right now is Mother Base. All the guys that we've Fultoned are being sent back here. And if we take a look at our staff list, we'll see at the bottom we have four new guys here that have been added. So let's go ahead and assign one of these guys to our intel unit. You'll also notice that the UI is three-dimensional. You can actually move it around like so by moving your controller. And we'll show you right here. Start there we go. And you can also close it by shaking the controller like that, which is pretty cool. All right, so we now have uh, the intel coming in. So let's take a look at our map. And you see these red areas marked on the screen. These indicate anticipated enemy locations. So we'll go ahead and mark these. And we'll take a look. Now you notice enemies are entering these areas. So your intel team has come through. Go ahead and mark them all. Okay, so we went ahead and marked all the enemies. You'll note that there are quite a few of them. The base is actually pretty well guarded at this time. So while we could try to sneak in, it'd be very difficult. And in this kind of situation, it might actually be a better idea to wait until they change shifts. Because in found the pain, enemies will change shifts depending on the time of day. And we could do that just by sitting here waiting for a very long time. But uh, we're going to use an item that can help us out here. It's called the Phantom Cigar. Now the Phantom Cigar is an e-cigar that Snake can use to help pass the time. So go ahead and use that. Keep in mind that it is an e-cigar, so it produces no ash, no real smoke, no evidence of snakes ever being there. Now, the smoke you see on the screen right now is actually a holograph, hologram, holographic smoke. Now, if you look at the sky, you see the clouds are moving in real time, sun and moon do move across the sky in real time as well. And uh, we have realistic shadows being cast from the vegetation, all thanks to the power of the Fox engine. Now, if we pan over to the right here, we can see enemies moving around, changing ships, depending on the time of day. And if we open up our iDroid, we see these blue triangles, which indicate enemies who are sleeping. So depending on the time of day, people may be off their ships, taking a nap, and you can use that to your advantage as you plan your infiltration route. And keep in mind, you can stop this at any time, but we'll just go ahead and stop it here. Uh, it is free, you can use the tobacco as you want. Uh, now, here we are. Uh, we've gone ahead and marked everything up. Uh, naturally, you probably would want to go in under the cover of darkness under normal circumstances, but we want to make sure you see what's going on during today's presentation. So we'll go in during the day, and to help us out, we'll go ahead and place some markers here. And these will act as waypoints as we sneak around through the base, and make sure we don't get lost on our way to the destination. Alright, so we have an infiltration route set. That said, since we are going in in broad daylight, it's going to be pretty tough. So once again, let's go ahead and call upon Mother Base for, for some help here. And in Mother Base, you actually have an R&D department. Uh, that can develop new weapons and equipment. So today we're going to have them develop the ultimate in stealth technology. As any true Metal Gear fan knows, it is the cardboard box. So we'll go ahead and place that order. Supply drop requested. Choose location for the drop. And here comes the delivery. Oh, did it break? No, this is just the delivery box. The actual box is inside of there, and here it is. So now we have our special customized Diamond Dogs cardboard box. Let's head on in. Uh, keep in mind the approach we're taking today is just one possibility. It's an open world game, meaning you can, afford, you can approach targets from any direction. Uh, this is just one possibility that we're showing you for today's demonstration. And now that we're in the open, let's go ahead and try out our new box. Now, players who have played Metal Gear before are obviously familiar with the cardboard box, but it has been upgraded for TPP, and we'll show you one of those new moves now. You can actually pop up out of the top of the box, take guys out, and quickly duck back in, all without having to unequip and re-equip the box. Likewise, you can now also use the Fulton from within the box. So we'll go ahead and send that guy off. 
in the background. We have another guy here, so we'll sneak up on him. See if we can surprise him from behind. Right, so we'll hold him up. And send him on his way. Uh, and up ahead, we see another guy who could be a problem. Now, we could use, a trank, use our trank to take him out, but we'll try something different here. Uh, we actually have a supply unit in Mother, support unit in Mother Base that can supply give us supply drops. So we'll go ahead and order one. Now, supply drops are useful for ordering items and ammunition, but you can also use it in creative ways, and we'll show you an example of that today. So what we did was we called a, we called a supply drop right onto an enemy location, and let's see what happens. And there we go. So we got the guy knocked out, and we got some ammo in the process, so let's go ahead and pick that up. You have arrived at your destination. And move on. Right, we've reached our next marker now. That said, the way up ahead is guarded. So let's see if we can take a detour through this building here. Sneak around that guy. All right, and it looks like we've stumbled upon a guy who's just coming off of his ship. So he's taking a nap. Uh, because of that, we don't need to engage him. As long as we're quiet, he's not a threat to us. So we'll go ahead and sneak around here quietly. And carefully make our way to the door. some quick CQC to take care of that guy. And now that we're back in the open, let's go ahead and put on our box. Okay, and it looks like someone may have noticed our box moving. This is not good. He's obviously going to come and you know, inspect this, so we should probably do something. And for Phantom Pain, you can actually do this. You can abandon the box at any time. And this is actually a very useful move because now the enemy will go to investigate the box while you are escaped, and uh, it'll actually serve as a decoy as we sneak around the side of the building here. Now, previously we showed you how you can Fulton people as well as containers. You can also Fulton vehicles in the Phantom Pain. So let's go ahead and claim this car here from other base. Oops. That said, you do need to be careful because there may be enemies lurking behind objects. So we'll take care of this guy. And just survey the area to make sure the coast is clear. Oh, and we have another guy coming here. Uh, we should probably hide. Let's go in that dumpster. Now this dumpster is just one example of various objects around the stage that you can use to hide in. And you also have upgraded CQC that you can use from within these objects to quickly take guys out and stash them away. You have arrived at your destination. Okay, so we hit our next marker. Keep on moving. All right, that yellow mark up there on the second floor of the building is our destination. So let's make our way there without being spotted. Here, let's keep an eye on him as we proceed. Oh, that said, like somebody to our right you may have noticed us. Let's lay low here in the ditch for a while. All right, nice headshot. So we'll keep on moving. You have arrived at your destination. And we'll take the high road here so we have a better vantage point as we proceed. Of 
course, marking the enemies as we go. All right, now we need to get up to the second floor of this building. So let's go ahead and make our entry here. And the soldiers, as well as the raw diamonds we picked up earlier, have now made it back to Mother Base, adding to our GMP. And the vehicle as well. Close call, but good use of reflex mode. We'll keep on moving. Need to get up to the second floor, which looks clear. So we'll go ahead and pull from this guy, then head on up. And we should be able to find some intel in here that will lead us to Miller. So let's take a look. And, uh, oh, we also have a POW here. So let's take a closer look and see who this is. And it's actually our gameplay master, Jackie Tan, <laughs> also known as Dan Kun in Japanese. What's up, everybody? And there he is. Cool. How are you feeling? <laughs> Not too good. All right, so we'll help Jackie in a minute, but we'll go ahead and pick up these documents first. So we'll use our iDroid. Scan these in. And grab the data. So you picked up an intel file. Now we know where Miller is. I'm marking it on your iDroid. Okay, so we have the intel. All we got to do now is get Jackie out of here. And that's not working. Uh, if you look at the Fulton icon, you'll actually notice it's at 0% right now, which means we can't use it indoors. So let's go ahead and carry him outside. And now we should be okay. There he goes. All right, so we have our intel, and we have Jackie off to safety. And all we gotta do is escape from the base, and we are done. That said, we are spotted, so we're gonna fight our way out. Uh, but don't worry, even in this situation, Mother Base can once again provide support. So we'll go, go ahead and call them up, place an order to a support unit, and call in an airstrike. So we'll go ahead and set the target here, and this should help to clean things up quite nicely. We'll also call in a helicopter so that we can escape. Please select a landing zone. Landing zone confirmed. Alright, now all we need to do is run and get out of here as quickly as we can, because obviously we don't want to be here when the bombs start dropping or we'll be caught in the blast. So we're not gonna bother with stealth at this point. It's all about escape. And we see a vehicle here, it should help us do that. So we'll go ahead and hijack it. Strike is incoming. We'll hurry here. Let's take a look and see if we can see the explosions. There we are. Nice. This is Morpho. Arriving shortly at LZ. Morpho is incoming, so we'll just tear the LZ. safely onto Morpho. Uh, that said, in the Phantom Pain, you're never truly safe until you escape from enemy territory, and that does include enemy airspace, so we'll keep an eye open here as we make our escape. I right, see some enemy reinforcements coming in below. And smoke from our airstrike. But it looks like we're in the clear. So that's mission complete, and we'll see how we did. S rank, so good job, Jackie. Let's give him a hand. All right, so you may think it's over at this point, but it's not. We actually have more for you uh, coming up, and uh, it's actually something that we prepared special for E3. It's the first time showing this, so we're going to cut back to the game right now and uh, show you something completely new. It's not over yet. Let's go back to the video. Okay, so up to this point, we've talked about... <laughs> Mother Base a lot. Uh, we've been sending people back there by Fulton. 
Uh, now we're actually going to show you Mother Base. So in Phantom Pain, Mother Base is an actual location that you can visit. The Mother Base you see on the screen here is actually one that we've upgraded quite a bit. When you first start out, it's just one small platform and you slowly gather resources and build it up. And the cool thing about it is that everyone's Mother Base will be different and will be unique because you can gather resources and customize it, building platforms however you want. You can decide how you want to spend your resources. Uh, so really building it up and showing off to your friends is one of the big, cool new things about Phantom Pain. All right, so right now, this big structure you, you see here is the main platform. So we'll make our approach, and uh, we can now actually disembark from the helicopter. And we'll give you a customized tour of Mother Base. All right, so you see your men coming up and saluting you. Obviously, you are their commander. You're a big boss. These are your men, your diamond dogs. And we'll take a moment just to give you a look at the base here, so you can get a sense of the scale of it all. pretty huge and just remember that you the player will be creating all of this so moving on all right and uh, we see our friends the sheep and Jackie have made it back to mother base safely thank you boss and they seem to be getting along nicely so as you can see all the personnel we pulled them from the field do come back to mother base and we'll proceed here the inner portion of Mother Base. And uh, you hear some gunfire now. And if we look over to our left, you can see that it's actually a shooting range. So uh, while you're out doing your missions, your men may be off on combat missions of their own, or they may be here practicing their skills. So you can also practice with them if you like. You can engage with CQ in CQC with them, uh, spar, to practice your skills, and also raise their skill levels as well. Uh, but we won't do that today. We'll go ahead and proceed up the stairs here, just to give you a better view of the base. And uh, you see up here, an anti-aircraft gun. This is one example of artillery that you can actually pull in from the field and bring back to Mother Base. So equipment like this can be picked up during your mission and uh, brought back here and serve as a part of your defenses. Likewise, you see in the distance here, the Fulton uh, container that we picked up via Fulton has made it back to Mother Base and the vehicles as well. So all of these things in Fulton, whether it be people, vehicles, or, con or uh, resources come back to Mother Base and resources do contribute to GNP which you can spend to expand your base and build new platforms. And we see an example of this right here. So that's a platform under construction, which will be available in the future. Uh, you can also spend resources on upgrading your security. And uh, this UAV is one example of that. You've seen these guys buzzing around, and these guys help to keep your base safe while you're out on your missions. All right, and we see a familiar face here. There's Ocelot, just hanging out, saying hi. Uh, so unique characters like Ocelot will also be around the base, and you can actually interact with them as well. All right now you notice it's started to rain. Uh, once again, this is an example of the dynamic weather that we had in Phantom Pain, which exists not only during your missions, but also here at Mother Base. All right, and now there seems to be something going on. It sounds like an alarm. Let's take a look. Okay, the base seems to be on alert. Your men are heading to combat stations. So let's go ahead and uh, do the same. This is Morpho, arriving shortly at LZ. Okay, Morpho's incoming, so let's go ahead and rendezvous with them. Note also that Jackie's taking a lot of shortcuts here. Obviously, this is his mother base, and every player will know their base inside and out. Uh, shortest ways from point A to point B. So here we are now, back on the main platform, and we'll head towards Morpho. Alright, so hop on Morpho and head into battle. So uh, as you can tell from the alert, uh, your base in the Phantom Pain can be attacked, which means that all the relationships you make within your mission and on online will come back and affect you here. So Mother Base does not just provide support to you in your mission, but all of the things that you do or relationships you forge in your mission actually come back and affect you here at Mother Base, and it's all one big endless cycle. That concludes our E3 presentation, so thank you for watching.